Hey friends! Many of you have asked me to make a radio-controlled tank. This is a very interesting topic for me, and I have ordered the parts. They have arrived, and now we can start making our tank. In this project, I will use a ready-made chassis simply because it's cheaper than making your own. The chassis is the most expensive part of the tank. It has two motors, two reduction gears, a switch, and a compartment for batteries. The motor supply voltage can range from 3 to 7.4 volts. I will be using two 18650 batteries. They don't fit in the battery compartment, so I'll put a motor driver in this area. We're also going to need an Arduino Nano, three servo actuators, and a rotation system. We're going to use a BB gun for the barrel, a wireless Sony PlayStation 2 joystick, its receiver, and some wires that we will need. Links to all of these components are listed in the description of the video. We will also need a laser. There is one on my BB gun. I'll take it and attach it to the barrel. First, I will attach the receiver from the joystick. It fits very well into the back part of the tank. To do so, you have to take off the cover from the receiver. Here it is. Now, we need to take the cover off the motor reducer. This is what the reducers and the motors look like. There's a lot of lubricant. A lot of lubricant. The cover is covered in it as well. We need to secure the cover with two screws like this. We keep the screws in the cover and put some tape on them so they stay in place. Next, we need to put together the receiver. Now, we need to place the screws into the cover of the reducers. We need to secure the two screws with some nuts. I will glue these nuts into place because they can come undone during motion and fall into the reducer. It was easy to screw in these four screws, but this one wasn't. So I do this. Now, let's secure the motor's driver. It will be located in the battery compartment. If we use wires with tips like these, the compartment won't fully close. This is why I cut off the tips on the wires, strip them, and solder them to the leads. This is what it looks like. Before we attach the driver, we need to attach the barrel's rotation system. First, we'll need to put it together. This is what it looks like. I will make three more holes in the body, two for the motor's wires and this large opening here for the control bus of the driver's circuit board. This is what it looks like on the inside. Now, let's take care of the gun. It works like this. When the spring is retracted, this ledge grabs this one. Then we release the trigger. This part goes down and the spring releases. We will use the part of the gun without the magazine. So we need to saw this lower part off, like this. This is what I have done. I've made a small hole in the top part of the servo actuator and another one the same size and diameter on the gun. 
Here, I've screwed into the screw a little bit, and now I'll connect them, like this. Here's what it looks like. Now, I will attach the gun to the top part of the rotation system. Using a 2 mm drill bit, I drilled into the trigger and the cap of the servo actuator. Then I placed a wire here. This is how the system works. In the top part of the mechanism, I've made two holes that go through the barrel as well. This way, I've secured it. Now we need to program the Arduino Nano. This is described in detail in the link in the description of the video. Here's the schematic for assembling the circuit board. And so, my friends, here is my tank. I will first show you some of its details, and then we can go and test it out. I have attached the battery cells to the two shortened rulers that are attached to the frame of the tank using mounting holes already present on the frame. I have attached the laser using glue, like this. Let's switch it on for the first time here. Turn on the joystick, the tank. The laser turned on by itself. It's important that we turn it off using the L2 button. L1 turns it on, L2 off. Then press R1, R2. This makes the servo actuator that controls the trigger resume its original position. Forward and back motions, as well as turns, are controlled by this joystick, the left one. If the gun is loaded when the mechanism is turned on, it will automatically fire. This is why it's important that we load it after we turn it on. Now, let's talk about loading the gun. After the tank is turned on, place a BB into the barrel of the gun, push it through, and do the motion you would do with any gun. Now let's test how the tank shoots. See? You can tell that it can be a painful shot, even though this gun is very cheap. Also, notice that to shoot, we press R1 and to return, R2. After every shot, it's important that we push R2. Here the goal is to hit the matchbox. And so, friends, here's my radio-controlled tank. The radius of the remote control reaches about 10 meters. I would say that the tank's strong points are its weapons power and that it has a laser. The only negative of the tank is its physical appearance. If you still have any questions, please write them in the comments section. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. There will be many more interesting videos. See you soon.